Rover. Land Rover is an iconic brand for over 70 years. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new Defender. The new Defender. How do you define such an icon? The Land Rover Defender. Today's models sell for $51,000 on the lower end and go for as high as $112,000 for additions like the V8 Carpathian. The Defender's customizable build has made it the focal point for numerous modifications, including collaborations with streetwear brand Undefeated, custom builds from Chelsea Truck Company, and a limited run by the designer once behind Bugatti. Exclusive limited runs have been sold for as much as $300,000. Even vintage Defenders are widely desired. A 90s Land Rover Defender can be priced beyond $120,000 in today's resale market. So how did Land Rover Defenders gain a six-figure sticker price and become a status symbol for names like Justin Bieber and Idris Elba? Instantly recognizable. All-terrain capability beyond question. The real deal. Behind the Hype. Land Rover Defender. The Land Rover Defender built a reputation around its rugged and versatile character as an off-road vehicle, gaining the title, The Beast. One of the key reasons behind the original Defender's popularity is its minimal base, which makes the vehicle easily modifiable. Several custom builds have popped up in recent years. A Jaguar Blue Land Rover Defender 110 and a Jaguar Green Defender 90 P400 were made in collaboration with streetwear brand Undefeated and Calvin Motors. The Blue 110 is designed for camping, while the Green model is the first ever surf-focused Defender. Twisted Automotive released their limited California series of electric Defenders. The soft-top Defender 90s come in two configurations. NAS E at 214 horsepower and NAS E Plus, which can go up to 320 horsepower. Only 30 were produced, selling for $185,000 each. UK-based custom workshop Arcanic followed with a collection of five beach cruisers, designed by Bugatti alum Etienne Salome, priced at approximately $240,000 a vehicle. Beyond adapting real Land Rover Defenders, toy brands have also jumped in to produce distinct perspectives on the off-roader. Hot Wheels released their very own Land Rover Defenders, made after the model seen in The Fate of the Furious and LEGO also created their own Land Rover Defender through their Technic line. But the cult following of the Land Rover Defender extends back decades. In 1948, the Land Rover Series 1 was manufactured as Britain recovered from the devastation of World War II. Both the Land Rover Series 1 and 2 were made of aluminum alloy due to a steel shortage in the country. These models were the blueprint that later became the Defender. After years of success with earlier Land Rovers like the Series 1, Series 2, and Series 3, production of the Defender silhouette began in 1983. It was first named the Land Rover 110 due to the 110-inch length of the wheelbase. A 93-inch wheelbase Land Rover 90 followed, as well as a larger 127-inch model, predictably named the Land Rover 127. Land Rover officially branded these popular models Land Rover Defenders in 1990 a move that made the vehicle all the more emblematic. Over the next two and a half decades, the Defender further cemented itself as a symbol of utility worldwide for media, film, and fashion. Placements in set designs for Ralph Lauren and Louis Vuitton romanticized the Defender's rugged personality in fashion photography, further legitimizing its stylish reputation for those who drove it. The vehicle was so beloved that with the exception of a few engine modifications, not many changes were made over the years. Like Jeeps, Defenders were used off-road, yet they still displayed a rugged city character similar to Mercedes-Benz G-Wagons. Lined up against competitors, the Beast had both the style and durability to make sense for trips in the city and cross-country. The Defender was the undisputed benchmark for 4x4s. The production of the original Land Rover Defender came to a close in 2016. British fashion designer Paul Smith commemorated the Defender with a 27-color model. The one-of-one one paid tribute to the Defender's legacy with the British Army, Navy, and Air Force, as well as the British countryside. 
More than 2 million Land Rover series and Defender models had been manufactured by the time the iconic silhouette was retired. Just three years later, the Defender was relaunched. The Land Rover Defender L663 reimagined the classic Defender design for the first time. This new take featured a bulkier retro futuristic aesthetic and nods to key elements from the original design. But perhaps the biggest evolution for the SUV happened under the hood. The Defender upgraded from a diesel engine output of 122 horsepower to 296 horsepower. The reimagined take on the Defender was followed by the release of a V8 model. The model starts at a base price of $98,550, thanks to its bigger build and luxury aesthetics. Some Defender fans still prefer the stripped-down analog approach of the 90s models, which once set the standard for SUVs. Today's Defender pays respect to this heritage. As homage to the 1993 Defender first edition release in the United States, Land Rover is offering a limited run of just 500 30th anniversary Defenders. Over 70 years of refinement led to the reimagined 4x4 automobile in production today. From appearing in everything from Louis Vuitton to Lego sets to having its own designer makes, the influence of the Defender spreads beyond the bounds of one single time or culture, building excitement for those who watch the Defender chart a path to its next frontier. Behind the Hype, Land Rover Defender.